Hey, it's Dr. Scott Watson here with a brief video on how to make your scores just look more professional. So we're going to be talking about formatting and layout and just the things that make um, your score to the appearance uh, of, a, of a viewer's eye just look great. So you can see this um, flute solo, flute and piano. Um, I, I'm very happy with the music, but the look of the music is just very amateurish. Uh, for instance, look how crowded this first system is with so many measures per system. And then the next uh, system has um, fewer um, measures so we could we could do something there also look at the distance between the left and right hand piano which is so close and um, how many um, systems per page and how they look all of that um, is going to center on um, just a few tools so we're going to start with um, the staff tool and the staff tool is how i can get more space between um, staves in a system so you should know that if you just drag the staff by its handle it'll affect just that system I'm going to undo that, but if you double click and drag, it'll affect all systems. So notice that the whole score, throughout the whole score, I just opened up, you know, or closed the distance between the top, the right hand and left hand. So that's one thing you might want to do. So an example of that would be like after I do this, um, I generally have it uh, looking good, but over here, the third system, I might want to just have less space there. So that's a single click to just affect that system. Whereas when I was doing it for the entire um, score, I was double click dragging it. Okay, so that's one thing. It's just the idea of, um, you know, using the staff tool to get the right space between um, staves in a system and single click if you want to just affect that system, double click if you want to affect the whole score. All right, let's try changing the percentage reduction of the pages, and that's going to be the resize tool. If you click in the upper left-hand corner of a page, like we're at full um, uh, size right now, 100%, uh, but for this piece, maybe I do want it to be 75%. So I'm going to change the percentage of my score to 75%, and now I'm going to be able to fit more systems per page. Now, I'm still not happy with the way this first page looks like with this giant uh, gap at the bottom, but I do like the way it, um, it lays out. Um, another thing is how many measures per system. That uh, crowded first system, I can do it a couple different ways. Um, you can use the selection tool and you basically select a measure, hit the up or down arrow on your keyboard. So in this case, down. If I put put that down, I just move that to the next system, and all of a sudden it looks so much better, right? I like the way that looks a lot better. Whereas another way I could do it, I could go to the um, utilities menu and fit measures. That's something you're going to use globally to affect the entire score. So if I want five measures per system, um, I'll choose that. It's the default here. I don't think it's the default is four, but I'll, I'll make it five. Uh, and then say OK, it'll change my whole score all the way through. So maybe that's the way I want it, right? OK, now let's deal with the um, the fact that uh, we have this giant space down here. So one way to do that would be just to change the, the resize for just the page one. I had done 75% for the entire score. Let's say I want to have page one be 80%. Um, I have to actually choose only page one, right? Page one and do that. So now my page one's a little bigger. I could also use the page layout tool and drag the first system down and it drags all the systems down, right? So that makes that first page look a little better, right? I still got my title up here at the center, composer, um, and the score information up here, but now it seems to use the whole page, right? So that looks a little bit better. But yet successive pages leave it 75%. Uh, here, could I fit more? Could I fit another system? Absolutely. Let's um, go to the page layout tool, drag this up a little bit, right? So I'm just dragging the first system up a little bit and that um, you know, puts the uh, puts the the fourth system at the bottom of that page. Okay, the last thing I'd like to show you, and this is sort of like a real cool finale power user key combination. When you want your whole score to be spaced out correctly um, and not have any like notes on top of notes or lyrics on top of lyrics and things like that, there's three uh, quick key commands I can show you. Using the selection tool, you do. Command A to select everything, Command 4 to uh, readjust the spacing, and Command U to update the layout. Now just to show you how this works, let me let me first um, change my spacing so that it's not good. I'm going to um, you know, have everything kind of more crowded than it should be. So if you look at measure 11, yeah there, measure 11 has some real crowding, right? So let me just do those things, Command A, Command 4, and Command U. 
and that will straighten out your spacing throughout an entire score. So I encourage you to just sort of memorize those three things, Command A to select everything, Command 4 to readjust the spacing, and Command U to update the layout. Do those three things whenever your score is looking a little funky, and it'll straighten it all out. So just to review, we did the resize tool. That's the, We have a first page at 80%, next page at 75%. Your mileage may vary. You decide what works for your score, but resize, allows you to get more systems per page. Then we had the staff tool where I double click or single click um, a staff handle to um, change the spacing between uh, next door neighbor staves and that makes um, you know it less crowded. So that's the uh, important part of this. Then there's the page layout tool and that's where you can nudge your um, systems up or down. And then finally, I showed you um, the fit measures um, for the number of measures per system, right? And you can just do something for the whole piece, or you can just do individual measures by selecting them and using the up and down arrow. Oh, and then the last thing I showed you was that magic key combination of Command A, Command 4, Command U. Use those and your scores will look much more professional. Hope this helps. Good luck with your finale uh, typesetting. setting.